What's up guys and welcome back to the Rise of Empires Guide. I'm Kalisos of State 119 and today we're finally gonna be having our Eden Guide. Now there's a lot of information regarding the event for all the new players to explain so I decided to make this guide in multiple videos to just not overwhelm you with information because I want you guys to understand what I'm saying and not just fall asleep as if you are at school. I will be putting all the videos in a playlist and every single video is going to be having timestamps to make it easier to find the exact subject you are looking for. And with that said, let's kick in the intro and begin. Okay, so first of all, Eden is a new map. The same like your state map, you will have a separate one where the event takes place. From the rock menu, you have to click enter Eden and it will teleport you to the Eden map. One important thing to note is the fact that it is a different map and therefore once you enter Eden, if your troops are gathering or a national quest, they will be recalled. So make sure to pay attention to that before entering. Before the season starts, you will have a sign-up stage where you or your alliance will register for entering Eden. This stage defines how the game will build up the maps outside of any player influence. Also very important, the sign-up will be done by your R5 and not by the players themselves. Once the R5 signs up, all the players in the alliance will also be signed up with it. The one thing that is important is that the players are inside the alliance seven days prior to the R5 sign up. And that is to ensure that you will be placed on the same map and same region as everybody else in your alliance. Now let's talk a bit about the Eden map. As I said before, it's similar to a normal state map, but first of all, much bigger, as it will accommodate a lot of states with all their players. The map is divided in sectors, so for example, when your alliance is signed up, all the players will be giving a random spot in the same sector, but don't expect to be close to each other, as, as I stated before, the map is pretty big. Exiting the map is pretty much the same way, you click on Exit Eden and your castle will be placed back into the last spot before entering. Note that you cannot exit Eden while in combat or when your troops are out of the castle. While you are in Eden, a ghost will be left in your state, pretty much the same like when you teleport to the enemy state, which cannot be attacked but can be dragoned. Contrary to that, once you are in your state, the castle in Eden can be attacked, but there will be no troop casualties and no resources taken if you are outside of Eden. If your castle gets zeroed out in Eden, whether you are there or not, you will be given the fallen status. While you are fallen, the tiles underneath your castle will become a connection for the enemy that zeroed you out. And the two hour shield will automatically be placed on your castle. The two ways you can remove the fallen status is first of all with the help of your allies. They will need first of all a connection to your castle to attack it and zero it out again and like that help you escape. But note to that, remember that the enemy can reinforce your castle and stop your allies from zeroing you out and therefore removing the fallen status. Because I found this situation a lot during the Eden seasons, I want to point that out. For anybody that is trying to resurrect a player of his guild and cannot attack him, please make sure you check if he has a shield on or not. Because if he has a shield on, you cannot attack him, obviously, and that's why you cannot remove the fallen status. The second way to remove the fallen status is by doing it yourself. Clicking on the fallen icon above your castle will prompt you if you want to remove it yourself, and it will cost you unprocessed materials and a bit of stone. While you are fallen, there's a few things to note. First of all, you cannot attack other castles. Second of all, you can tile but only with connection to your own personal tiles. And remember that the tiles under your castle, once you're fallen, are not yours anymore. 
Continuing on this subject, we have the shield. Now in Eden, you cannot use the normal shield anymore. There is still an option available for shielding, but you will have to first of all charge the shield, which takes one hour, and after you will receive an eight hour shield. The same like the normal shield, if you scout attack tiles or anything else during shielding, you're gonna lose the shield and receive a cooldown for it before you can start shielding again. Another new thing added to Eden are the teleporting pads. In Eden, you cannot use the normal teleport anymore, which is actually a good thing because after so many seasons of rock, you finally have enough teleports for kill event. The only way you can move on the Eden map is with the help of the teleporting pads. And for that you're gonna be needing four tiles that are put in a square together and on them once you click you can place your pad. It's gonna cost you construction material to be able to build a pad and it's gonna take you two hours to do it. After the pad has finished building you can click on the pad and teleport your castle on it. Once the teleport has been finished, the previous pad will not exist anymore, but your tiles will remain there. And all these details are very important as building your pad is one of the most important factors during Eden. Every time you prepare for an objective or you are positioning yourself for war, you have to always take in consideration the time it takes to build the pads. And the same goes for preparing your shield. The pad itself is a structure and therefore if attacked can be destroyed and can also be reinforced the same like any other ally tile. And for the last subject in this video we will be talking about the guild. The same like you have your alliance outside of it and inside you have guilds. Which is totally separate to it meaning anybody in the Eden map can join the guild no matter whether it is inside your alliance or not. But when I say anybody, I actually mean only players from inside of the same sector on the map as the guild. It is still possible for players from different sector guilds to join your guild, but for that they first have to occupy an objective in your sector to be able to do it. Now compared to alliances, you cannot merge guilds. So if you are planning to merge two guilds, the only way to do it is by moving the players from one guild to another and preferably choose the guild with the highest level first as the main shell. To be able to make a guild you will have to meet the minimum requirement of tiles and loyalty for it which is not a lot, your R5 can easily do that after entering Eden. The guild itself comes with a leveling system starting from level 1 till level 50 maximum. At level 1 you have a limit of maximum 100 players in your guild and increasing the level will also increase the number of players you can add to your guild. That's why it's very important, especially if you are planning to use that shell as a main guild for a merge, to keep only the most active players in it to increase the level as fast as possible and therefore give you more spots for more players. And with all this out guys, this is pretty much it for this video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel to get notified when the next video of this series is gonna be coming out. I hope as soon as possible. But before I leave you, I do have another gift for you coming from the sponsor of this video, which is Huawei App Gallery. And they are bringing with it a few extra discounts and offers for you guys to enjoy. Now remember Huawei App Gallery is a Android device app and therefore you can only install it on Android devices. If you don't have one, don't worry, you can still install Bluestacks and with it install App Gallery there. What is important is that you change your country to Switzerland and therefore with it the currency to the Swiss franc as that is how the offers are given. And from the campaign menu you can check out all the details of this offer. From having the amazing coupon for discounts combined with the 15% cashback which means from all your purchases 15% of it is gonna come back as Huawei points which you can use for later purchases. 
and if that isn't enough you also have gifts for anybody that makes a 10 euro or more purchase in the game the offer is available from the 29th of october till the 14th of november so make sure you take advantage of it while it's still there the payment methods available are PayPal, credit and debit card issued in the US, EU, Australia, Canada and the UK. All the details for this are in the description of this video so make sure to check it out and if you have any more questions regarding it make sure to go on their Discord channel which again you can find in the description and ask it there. And with this guys we wrap up the video thanks again for checking in don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this content and subscribe for more videos to come. And so I'll see you guys in the next videos.